heart rate variability measures the functioning of the autonomic nervous system, whether or not it's imbalanced or one part of the nervous system is excessive compared to the other. It's also called HRV, heart rate variability. We do heart rate variability testing in the office and it gives us a sense of how balanced somebody's autonomic nervous system is. When somebody has a high vagal tone, meaning their vagus nerves, which are the nerves in the body that give the body health, uh, when the HRV is high, the person has better athletic ability. They also have a greater resistance to stress. And we all know right now, you need to have a really high vagal tone to be healthy, to be vibrant, to be happy. When people have a low vagal tone, they can't handle stress so good. They're much more prone to getting illnesses and all these illnesses can occur all over the body. They tend to have depression or they might have other signs like brain fog or melancholy and other psychological conditions. They're easily fatigued and of course they're prone to illness. Now this is an autonomic nervous system test that we did in the office in one individual. So what we do is we put electrodes on the person, you know, like on their fingers and what the probe is measuring is their heart rate variability and the various components of their heart rate variability. We can see that when the person had a stressful memory, just one stressful memory, the sympathetic system went way, way up, basically 19 times the parasympathetic system. The sympathetic system is the stress system. So this person just with one simple memory became sympathetic dominant. And then eventually, when we got the person to laugh, the sympathetic system and the parasympathetic system was in balance. So heart rate variability testing can show us really how the person's doing as it relates to thoughts, memories, relationships. We can show the picture of somebody you know, just somebody that they might struggle with and just see what happens to their sympathetic system, their autonomic nervous system, just by that picture. We can also do neck motions. You can see the second most stressful event for this person beside the stressful memory was a certain neck motion. Because there's definitely people that they can tell that when they move their neck in a certain position or they hold it in a certain position that they can feel their overall body becoming more stressful. And this is a real uh, physiologic thing that happens to them. And the way that we document it is with HRV testing. Uh, and we pu put the person through different stressors like math tests, loud noises, but it really could be anything. And this kind of information is vital because then after we do treatments, such as dynamic orthoneurologic correction and prolotherapy, we can then retest this individual and then see if with certain neck motions or with certain other stressors like stressful memory, has it improved? And we found that when you get the neck in proper alignment and you get the neck stabilized, that the person's overall physiology is such that because their autonomic nervous system is stronger, their vagal tone is stronger, the nerve flow through the vagus nerves are better, they're able to handle all different kind of stressors better. The caveat to that is if a person doesn't get their neck curvature in proper alignment and they have, they continue to have instability, their body's ability to handle stressors. And you know, the stressors just going, just normal daily activity stressors, children, work, relationships, country, different, different stressors that we all undergo goes way, way down. So in summary, dynamic, we just call it dynamic or functional heart rate variability testing is a valuable asset for somebody trying to overcome
chronic health conditions. Thank you again so much for watching.